Morning, folks. It's uh, Tuesday, December the 14th, and I am on, just got here as a matter of fact, some public land right here on Area 4 in Louisiana. Uh, hadn't planned on coming here today. It's about 4.44 in the morning. Um, I've got my uh, 4.44 and uh, got my new Eberly stock pack and uh we're gonna go but i i got a story to tell y'all about how i ended up here this morning but anyway uh hey louisiana hook and shoot we're all louisiana all the time let's go hunting set up and I'll, I'll show you some shots but we we kind of down in a swamp creek bottom and put it with uh, kind of a transition we've got uh, got a, kind of a clear cut on each side got some cow pastures that are planted and uh Earlier there was some, uh, I'm in a beech nut tree, so earlier there was some beech nuts dropping and also some uh, acorns in here. But uh, I imagine all the acorns dropped, but we've had deer traveling through here and uh, don't know what. I'm fixing to take a look at a SD card I pulled a few minutes ago on my way in here. Uh, I've got a a cell camera but it ain't it ain't working in here so i'm gonna pull it out when i go to leave but i can shoot anything uh today i can shoot buck doe uh whatever so but we're set up it's um let's see it's right at seven o'clock in the morning i plan to sit here all day i took off just kind of sitting in this transition. I was going somewhere else, and I'll share that story with you. But uh, ended up in here, and this is a pretty, pretty good spot. It's a nice transition, some heavy trails. So maybe we'll get a, we'll get a deer. Uh, if it's a good sized doe, I'm gonna take it. Uh, buck, probably two or three year old. Now that may not have a bunch of horns on it, but probably two, three year old. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna take a yearly.
This portion of Louisiana Hook and Shoot is brought to you by American Hunter, your locally owned, Louisiana proud, full service gun and archery shop. If guns, knives, and archery equipment are your obsession, then this is the pro shop for you. American Hunter, Ronald Reagan Highway, Covington, Louisiana. brother to do the same thing. traveling this creek and uh, that little buck he come right down that creek I got the wind is kind of blowing if you can see I don't know if you can see I'll, I'll see if I can get you but there's some fields over here and uh, those deer they traveling down this creek and he ended up he came right there which is 16 yards and uh, he ended up going back out in this clear cut and cutting across and uh, there's some short pine thicket bedding area back here I didn't see him cross but uh, he may have he may have just bedded down out there in that clear cut I just can't see him some um some rubs and he didn't do those rubs i mean it was a tree that was uh broke off and tore up he didn't he didn't he didn't do that with them little nubs he had so hopefully we'll have another one come through good size doe I, I'll, I'll shoot that um but i just didn't want to take him on public land, but hey, 
that was about 10 o'clock so we'll see what happens y'all hanging in all right guys it's uh about 2 25 in the afternoon uh, i've not seen anything else some squirrels birds uh, i got a hog on on camera and uh a good sized doe and what they do they're coming out of this uh, this clear cut and they're walking down here this creek and crossing out so but they're primarily doing it in the afternoon uh, I had pictures of that uh, that little buck coming back in the morning so I kind of figured he'd be in here um, but there's some rubs and things like that I know he didn't make I'm not saying he can't rub he probably has but uh, but there's some yo ponds and stuff like that that were tore all up he, he didn't do all that so I knew that there was another bug I hadn't got him on camera but he, uh, there's another buck in here. But if I catch that hog or that doe coming back, coming out of that bedding, coming back in here for the afternoon, I might, I might go ahead and uh, punch a doe tag and put some hog meat in the freezer. Folks, we got. <clears throat> right at 5 o'clock. About 30 minutes left to shoot and light. We hung in here today, but just that one little uh, nub-headed buck. Hey, that's why they call it hunting, not killing. But uh, y'all hang in there with us. Gonna get it done. See y'all later. All right, folks, we're back at the truck. I don't know if you noticed or not. Well, you probably did, and if you didn't, I'm to tell you about it. So right after I was doing the, hey, we're done, it's five o'clock, um, you know, uh, hadn't seen anything in the afternoon, we'll get back on them. I, I turn around and I, I see a deer. Um, so I just kind of switched the camera around where it could see me and hopefully see the deer, but I noticed that it didn't. So basically the camera saved another one um, it was getting dark i could see the deer i could see the head um but in the process of switching the camera around and all that kind of good stuff um the deer just kind of got nervous and she didn't run off she didn't know what i was the wind was coming from her to me i think it was a doe uh coming right from where we fully expected um it may have been that that little nub-headed buck. So once I got on it, I couldn't tell. So I wasn't going to shoot it. But still, um, take positives away from every trip. I sat there all day. I had an idea of what the travel pattern was through there. Now I've, I've solidified. I know what the travel pattern through there is. So uh, I know where they're bedding at, at least that group. And uh, there's more deer in there. And uh, so here's a tip. When you find a place like that, particularly on public ground, guard it. And by guard it, I don't mean pull your knife or gun. I mean, just don't tell anybody. Um, listen, this is public land. And I know we all like to be friends and we all like to pull, but you and I both, we work real hard on public land to, to, to be able to harvest deer on a consistent basis. Um, when you find one of those spots, guard it, 
don't run your mouth about it, but also only hunt it when the wind is right. You gotta put your time in, but only hunt it. She didn't know what I was. She didn't like what that was, or it didn't like what it was. So it just kind of faded back into the brush, uh, which is fine with me. Um, it didn't run off, didn't stomp off, didn't blow, all that kind of good stuff. So my place is secure. I won't go back for a while uh, until I know the wind is perfect and everything settled down and I'll slip back up in there and, uh, and refine your spot. But anyway, hey, had a great time. No kill, but very productive hunt. Uh, Brian, Louisiana, hook and shoot. We're all Louisiana, all the time. See you next time.